Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Happy Day of the Dead. Happy, um, Happy New Year for those who observe the, um, Samhain as the end of the year. You are not going to believe this. I have toothpaste on my chin. Oh, my God. Thank you for the live video so I can notice that. <laughs> I have a tendency of doing that. Don't ask me how I acquired that talent. It's just a talent. It's something I do. And you can see it. Well, I think I wipe it off now. Anyway, <clears throat> um, good morning. Good uh, evening. Good afternoon. Um, happy New Year for those who celebrate Samhain as their New Year. Happy New Year. Um, for those who are observing Day of the Dead, listen to your ancestors. Listen to those voices. Boy, they are loud this year. They really are unapologetically loud this year. And for those who don't know what is the difference, cheers. I will try to be as brief as I can possibly be. Um, Day of the Dead is a tradition that it comes from 3,000 years of Aztec or Mesoamerican tradition and it is a celebration of life, regeneration and death of course and it is believed that we go to this place that is called Mictlan every night when we go to sleep we go to that place and then eventually we will not come back and then we will stay in the Mictlan forever and Mictlan is the place of eternal rest and um it was a celebration that happened on from July to um, July, September, and October. And when the colonizers came and they changed our traditions and they tried to convert our people to Christianity, they tried to eradicate our traditions and our reverence for life and so our reverence for death. And when they couldn't do that, they moved the holidays. That was 40 days of holidays into November 1st and 2nd and those we have now Day of the Dead both November 1st and 2nd. Um, it is not a Catholic tradition, it is not a Christian tradition and the purest way to celebrate Day of the Dead is um, to put flowers and fruit on your altar and also to have the skulls, the representation of Mictlan Tecutli and Mictlan Siwat that help us connect with that consciousness of life, birth, life, um, transmutation, rest, and rebirth. And that's why I'm wearing my sugar skulls today. Uh, my favorite day of the year, of course, honoring life, honoring death while we are alive. And of course, now it's been, you know, Catholicized and it's been Christianized and there's all this Catholic, uh, very pagan add-on, adds-on into Day of the Dead, but it is a wonderful, wonderful tradition from Mexico, from Mexico to the world, Day of the Dead. No, we didn't, we do not paint our faces as skulls. No, we do not go out and scare people on Halloween. It is not a going out celebration. It is a staying home with your family. And it is more than anything a, a religious celebration. Since I was a child, and I'm 45 years old, I never saw a Day of the Dead parade in Mexico. From 2015 till now, I believe for the last three years, there is a Day of the Day, Day of the Dead parade. Um, <clears throat> they call it El Paseo de las Calaveras, I think. Calavera means skull. And without further ado, I'm going, to leave, I'm going to leave you with a phrase that I love. And of course, I love the phrase because I created it. <laughs> and what are we under the skin if no skulls with never-ending smiles? Okay, let us pull a reading for the weekend. This weekend, I'm going to be busy... On Friday, I'm going to be at the 8th Baile de las Calaveras, 8th Annual Baile de las Calaveras for El PAC and uh, Mujeres Latinas en Acción. 
I've been doing that for a number of years now, and it's a wonderful charity that helps better women and women in situations that are not ideal. So let's do that. That'll be on Friday. On Saturday, I will be back at the yards on their farmer's market in the morning, and at night, I will be at the Mankind Project working for Tribal Stump doing a dollar a minute readings. I never go that low, but today I'm going to go that low, and uh, we're going to do a dollar a minute readings. Tribal Stump, Mankind Project, uh, 7 o'clock, I think, on Saturday night. And on Sunday, I will be back at La Catrina with Tarot Sunday Fun Day. So if you can catch me somewhere over the weekend, come and say hi. I will still be very much on the Day of the Dead celebration spirit. And I don't own the party, but I feel like I do. <laughs> so come and join me. And now, may those ancestors come through and help us find our messages. Think about the question or questions that you have for the weekend. And they say three cards, so that's what I'm pulling, three cards. And I am going to read them today as a little storyboard. So we have the Three of Wands reverse, we have the Four of Pentacles reverse, and then we have the Hangman reverse. Every single card came out reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the Three of Wands says, it's no time to build stuff, actually let it fall down. Um, don't even worry about it. You're very passionate about something. You really had your eyes into finishing something, accomplishing, accomplishing something this weekend. It's just not going to happen. The Four of Pentacles reverse tells us, let it go, release it, don't worry about it. There might be a little bit of a financial setback. I'm sorry about that, but I am not your financial advisor. I am your spiritual advisor. <laughs> so I cannot give you a financial advice, but I will say, count your losses and run with whatever capital you can recover. And the last card is the Hangman Reverse. And that very much is reassuring what the other two cards are saying about letting go. Look, Samhain and Day of the Dead have a similarity. There are a time to release and to let go. And give yourself permission to, if you haven't accomplished something that you were really passionate about accomplishing, until today, if today was your deadline and you were not able to reach your goal, it's okay. It's okay. You have a whole another year to reaccommodate, to recalculate, to restructure, and to find a new um, dynamic and new ways to get to your goal. So don't beat yourself up. And just try to find a new way to reach your goal. I'm showing the cards to Instagram. And then I'm showing the cards to Facebook Live. The Three of Wands Reverse. The Four of Coins Reverse. And the Hangman Reverse. And then of course I'm going to show them to YouTube also. There it is. The Three of Wands Reverse. The Four of Coins Reverse. And the Hangman Reverse. I'm using the Illuminati Tarot, by the way, today. Just because it's beautiful. And um, last but not least, I'm going to pull one card from the ancient Toltec wisdom of our people. Since it's Day of the Dead, I figure I do something that is uh, related to our people and the wisdom of our people. And these cards are darling. If you can get your hands on these cards, listen, you don't have to be a professional fortune teller, tarot reader, blah, blah, blah. This oracle is one of the easiest i ever seen because everything is on the card. You don't even need to go on a book. Deep breath. May the goddess and God and the divine wisdom of our ancestors guide us. And we have one card, and this card relates to the agreement of don't take anything personally. I cannot read. Don't tell anybody, okay? I need my glasses. 
Don't take anything personally. Become immune to poison. <clears throat> the whole world can be, pardon me, the whole world can gossip about you. And if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. About that, I repeat. Don't take anything personally. Become immune to poison. The whole world can gossip about you. And if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Talk about our ancestors giving us messages that are like a kick on the teeth. <laughs> don't listen to gossip. That sounds like something my mom will say. I promise you. Anyway, blessings to everybody. Blessings, blessings, blessings. We're going to say goodbye to YouTube as always. First, good fortune, you are love.